What's up, people of YouTube? This is Grow Me Something Mister. It is Friday, June 22nd, 2018, and it is time for an update of composting shrimp shells in this uh, bucket here. Uh, this is where the bucket used to be, and there was some gray stuff like you would find in a compost pile. I decided to move it into uh, this uh, new spot right here, and I uh, see it looks like a dead fly right there. Um, I peeked at it about a week ago and I uh, forgot to make a video for y'all so um, some of y'all might be uh, surprised you could probably see the the line here um, I guess you might want to call that a water line but really they're just a fill line and then how it broke down and um, once before I peeked inside and saw some like maggots I don't know if that was black fly there's a little maggot right there but um, so you remember there are about six inches of um, grass and about two inches of shells and then another six inches of grass well um there's maggots um grass maggots here we go so there are the shrimp heads right there they're um you could basically pulverize them like you would pulverize some dried up um, other material, maybe like uh, skins of like onion skins, the, the brown outer skin of um, onions, basically is what that reminds me of. But um, yeah, so like a week ago, I, I took a little peek and the shells were just there, but they were gutted, I guess you want to say, and they were basically brittle. They were dried up and brittle. Um, so. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's much darker now before you're able to see a little distinction of the color with the shells, but, um, let's go down a little bit further. So that's the bottom of the bucket right there. So you have a couple of inches, maybe four inches total. I did not mix it. I did not add anything to it. Uh, when they were going to have heavy rains, I covered it with a little small hole in the top just for uh, airflow, but there's... The shrimp shell, I guess, is there, but it's not, like, whole if I want to break it apart. So, basically, if I wanted to mix this thing apart, that's not a leaf. That's a, that's a little a, it's a shell right there. Um, if I wanted to mix this apart, you would never know that a shrimp uh, existed in here. So, and look at my fingers. Look at that color. So, uh, yeah. You know, that will make some nice compost tea. So, I'm in zone 9A is what it is. And, um, South Louisiana and um we have a lot of heat we have a lot of humidity it's not really it's not dry like like say desert southwest there's the maggots right there so it's a little weird the maggots got to it i don't know if that has anything to do with it um i would just have to get another 15 or 10 pounds of shrimp and uh, run this test again um so yeah basically i'm gonna close this out and say that um may 31st is when i put this all together and it's june 22nd so, literally in less than 30 days, I had shrimp shells break down. Um, I guess I would say it's break down. It's, it's powder when I break it, right? So when I, when I move it, it, it breaks apart. It's, it's not there. You can't tell that there are shrimp shells in here. You would, not, you would think this is leaves or something else. So, all right, less than uh, 30 days for shrimp heads to break down. Um, what do y'all want me to do with this compost here? This, there's still grass here, right? The grass is just as grass. Um, I don't know. I'm wondering, it makes like a nice little mat with uh, all the little bugs underneath there. So, I wish I could give them a way to crawl out so I could feed them to the girls. So, any comments, questions, suggestions, whatever, leave them down below. You can always email me, strawhatvideo at gmail.com. There's some of your shrimp heads right there. So, you see, it just breaks apart to, to nothing. So, Okie dokes, this is Grow Me Something Mister, and remember, uh, what was it, to go out, no, uh, I don't have an exit line yet, so see you later everybody.